For this video, I'm going to show you a trick on how to find phase difference. For this, I'd like you to remember one thing, that when there's a wavelength of difference, that corresponds to a whole circle, and angles in a whole circle add up to 360 degrees. For example, between A and E, there's one whole wavelength of difference, meaning the phase difference between them corresponds to 360 degrees. Now, between A and C, that's a half of a wavelength. In this case, a half of a wavelength would correspond to a half of a circle. Angles in half of a circle, well, that's just a straight line, so it adds up to 180 degrees. So the phase difference between particles A and C are 180 degrees. Between B and C, that's essentially a quarter of a wavelength. That would correspond to a quarter of a circle, which is essentially a right angle, meaning the phase difference between them, two points, is 90 degrees. Lastly, between B and E, this one's a bit more difficult, but it's a quarter of a wavelength, but then another half. So that's essentially three quarters of a wavelength. So three quarters of a wavelength would correspond to three quarters of a circle, which would then correspond to 270 degrees. So these two particles have a phase difference of 270 degrees.